go! What's up everybody, it's me, Rory. I've had a productive month. Let's start the video off with the maps. I started building out some maps because the maps I had before were really not good and I haven't really paid any attention to maps at all and I kind of I kind of need to get at least maybe one or two good maps so that I can do some proper play tests. So I don't have a lot of gameplay. Turns out they're not easy to make. I used some assets from the Unreal Engine Marketplace and I love them. Yeah, it turns out you can't just throw pieces together and hope it's a cool map. But that's exactly what I did. One of them was a red hell castle. It's floating and you can fall off. I think I'm gonna make it if you fall off, you become the person who is it. Because otherwise, if you're running away from someone who's trying to smack your ass, you see a cliff, you can just jump off the cliff to get away. Anyways, the next map was sort of like a construction map. Not in love with it. It's kind of messy. With that one, I also tried to make it sort of like close quarters because I, in my mind I was thinking run, turn a corner and then get out of sight and, and hide and like do parkour and practicality it's not really fun. Camera view gets clipped a lot and, and gets like all buggy. Big open spaces I think is the go. And the next map that I made is sort of like a nice beautiful waterfall. Kind of reminds me of like Greek mythology. I tried to make that one a bit more of a verticality based map. So the maps I made, they're shit. I tried to do a playtest with my girlfriend. Didn't really go as I would have hoped. It's not a very entertaining clip because it was recording the wrong microphone. But to sum it up shortly, within like the first 10 seconds of the game, it bugged out, it crashed, it broke. The cosmetics on the characters disconnected from their bodies. The lip syncing was just absolutely dog shit. It, it was a good reminder to let me know that is gonna take some work and that's okay. I was really, really annoyed about the lip syncing and the crashing in the lobby. It just wasn't working, which led me to discover a pretty big bug, but I'm glad that I got it through. The next thing that I focused on, maybe admittedly a little bit, a little bit early in development, I kind of just wanted to know if I could do it because I wasn't sure if I could do it. Turns out I can. So I spent a good portion of the month working on a level editor so that you can make custom maps and upload them to Steam. That's right guys, custom maps for Spanky. Once again, I'm using an asset from the Mar Unreal Engine Marketplace as Asset Marketplace, which is a godsend. It's an absolute time saver. Guys, if you can afford it or if you can find the right assets, if they're free or whatever, get them and use them. So I found a level editor. It works for what it is. And I had to create a separate widget menu so that I could actually create map and it would capture a thumbnail, save the thumbnail to the level editor and the name of the map so that you can actually edit and leave and whatever save it and we also used that thumbnail to upload to the steam workshop and then came the part where i had to get steam working steam gives you a download and, and a bunch of codes to use all of their tools in your game however i'm stupid dirt brain and i'm using blueprints with unreal engine nothing by stock supports blueprints unless it's made specifically for unreal engine so i was like hmm, what do i do i don't know what to do so that's right, I went to the Unreal Engine Marketplace and I got a plugin called Steam Core. It exposed the Steam SDK to blueprints and that's all I needed. So once I bought that plugin, put it in the game, it worked. And I was really surprised by that. It was just, it was easier than I thought. I went to the user generated content part of the Steamworks documentation. They have like one or two pictures, diagrams of the flow of the code. And it was exactly the same for blueprints. Guys, I'm a game developer. I'm so smart. I uploaded my first picture to the Steam Workshop and then I uploaded a map. That was maybe like a three day job, four day job. No, it was like a fuck. It was a week's work. The last thing that I did this month was I worked a lot on UI because my previous UI was kind of very, very ugly. But now I opened up my drawing software and I, I just sort of drafted up the layouts before making them look fancy. Because if you get the layout working, then you can just replace the buttons and images with any image you want. You can update them really easily. There's the main menu. There's the customized menu where it's like a wardrobe. Uh, there's the level editor menu. You, it's sort of like a blueprint workshop and then when you click play it brings you to the different modes to join a game i had to really think about this because i don't have the final game mode so i ended up with a menu where there's three big buttons the middle one is the main spanky game mode then the one on the left is co-op i do want to make a co-op mode but if i can't i just remove that button so easy ah big brain 
And then you're thinking, Ooh, Rory, 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 what's the, what's the one on the, what's the one on the very end? Well, that, my friends, is whatever you want it to be, because that is the custom maps. You can change the game settings. With the other two, you don't change the game settings because they're the public default modes. Once you get into the lobby, here's the lobby screen. Then I made it so that you can see the characters' colors and their name, their Steam name and avatar. This feature wasn't working. Why can the server see everyone join and the server can see everyone's colors update, but the, the clients, they can't. I don't know why, and it's not because I'm stupid this time. I, I know I was doing the right things and I was updating the widgets. I know it should have been working. Turns out the uh, widget is only visible on this server and hidden on the clients. The last little nugget of gold that I have for you is the color select. The old version, there was just a little box with eight buttons and each button was a different color and you just click on the button. But I really wanted it to be dynamic. I wanted the color selection to be fun. It's just boring just clicking on a color. I drew a nice butt cheeks. They did look like ball sacks for a second, but then I put some pants on. People on TikTok say they still look like ball sacks. You're dirty for thinking they look like ball sacks. Anyways, I took that picture into After Effects and then once I threw that into the lobby, it was amazing. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. That's for the last month's content. I think I'm going to try and just do a monthly upload no matter what I do. If you want quicker, shorter updates, TikTok is where it's at. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.